If you are looking to build a stronger, perkier bum, you have come to the right place because we have a 10 minute glute finishers workout that is gonna help you build strength, endurance, and give your bum a little lift. Now, this is a no equipment workout. You can do this workout with no equipment whatsoever. However, if you wanna add a little bit of intensity into your workout today, I have got my 20 pound dumbbells. That's gonna be for glute bridge and uh, frog pump glute bridge. Also, ankle weights. If you have those, add those on right now. And a booty band or a mini resistance band. We're gonna use that as well for some of the exercises. And we'll use it for the first one. So if you wanna go ahead, add your equipment on. Booty band is gonna go right at the top of your knees. Ankle weights can go on and they will just stay on for the entire workout. And then you can um, add in your dumbbells as well. We have got six exercises. We're gonna do full range. We're gonna do uh, pulses. 45 seconds of work for full range, 30 for pulses, 10 seconds of rest in between the sets, 20 in between those rounds, and that's it. So roll it back for glute bridge. We've got 45 on the clock. We go here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift and squeeze right into that glute bridge. Whew. Good. And down. Ankle weights are not quite coming into play yet, but we're, we're adding them to save time because I'm telling you the rest is gonna go by quick. When we have just 10 minutes to burn those muscles out, finish out our workout, we gotta move. And we're gonna make every second count today. If you showed up, I am not about wasting time, <laughs> especially yours because I know how valuable it is. So we're gonna make it count. We're gonna have 10 seconds to rest and then we're gonna go into glute bridge pulses. Here's three, two, and one. Whew, let's just hold it up. Pulses are next. Pulsing in three, two, and one. Little pulse, pulse it up. Good, squeeze. Whew. Make sure with the pulses, you are not over arching your back, still keeping that back straight and flat. So you're making a straight line from the knees down to where your shoulder blades are meeting the mat. Almost there. Then we're gonna get rid of the dumbbells for now so those can go off to the side. Keep pulsing, come on. Here's three, two, and one. Dumbbells off to the side. We're gonna flip it onto all fours. Keep the um, band on, keep the ankle weights on. We're going into a straight leg kickback. So on all fours, again, 45 seconds of, for one side, then we'll do pulses, then we'll switch sides. So bring that leg out and let's lift, here we go. Keep that foot flexed. Now you can be up on your hands, you can also take it down to your forearms, wherever you feel comfortable for this. But again, keep that back straight, you don't wanna round it or arch. Really think about working in the glutes here, so squeeze as you take it up to the top. We are hitting all, all areas of the bum today. We got the glute mead, max, and minimus. So hitting it all. Pulses are gonna be next. We're gonna get that quick break so you can press it back for just a second and then get right back in. Here's three, two, and one. Ooh, give the bum a little bit of a break. Right back up, we're going into pulses next. Here's three, two, and one. So let's pulse it, little move. Pulse it, good. Keep that foot flexed. Whew. Almost there, you got it. Here we are, three, two, and one. Whew. Press it back, 20 seconds. We're gonna switch sides. So right over to that other side, same thing, full range, then we'll pulse it. You can be up on your hands or down on your forearms. Take that leg out, keep that foot flexed. Whew. Going here in three, two, and one. Full range, straight leg kick back. Here we go, and lift. Good, squeeze the glute. Think about contracting that glute to help lift that leg. Now, if you are working to build a stronger bum, this is the perfect workout to add on 
after your other training. This is gonna help perk that bum up. If you add it one, two times a week, I'm telling you what, you are gonna see a difference before you know it if you are consistent. And really, building strong glutes, so awesome. I mean, they are a serious powerhouse with all of your other workouts. It's gonna make things easier and you're gonna get stronger overall. Here's three, two, and one. Whew. Press it back, those pulses are next. You know what to expect. Take that leg out, 30 on the clock. Let's pulse, here we go. Little move, big burn. You know we had to say it. Whew. Fire hydrant is going to be next. Now with fire hydrant, we're gonna work one side, then the other. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. I am switching up my booty band. I'm gonna use my other one. Gives me a little bit more range of motion. That's why I'm switching it up. However, if you've got the ankle weights on, you may not even need the booty band. But fire hydrant. Again, up on your hands or down on your forearms, wherever you feel comfortable. And let's go, here we go. Lift it up and down. 45 seconds of full range. Then we're gonna do that pulse. And squeeze, good. Keep that core tight. Think about keeping your belly button in towards your spine. Again, keeping that back flat. Exhale as you lift. Almost there. Keep it strong. Three, two, one. You can press it back. We've got that quick 10 seconds, which you know goes by so quick. Pulses are next here in three, two, and one. Pulse it out. With these pulses, we are keeping that muscle under tension really building it. You're gonna feel that burn. Whew. Almost there. Here's that countdown. We've got three, two, and one. Other side. Whew. Breathe. Fire hydrant now. That other side, keep that good form. Again, on your hands, down on your forearms. Try to work it even though. If you, if you were up on your hands, keep it on the hands for this other side. All right, three seconds, full range for 45. Here we go. Don't lose that contraction in the belly button. Keep that belly button nice and squeezed in towards your back. Or I should say, don't lose the contraction in your abs. Keep your core tight. Squeezing that belly button into your spine. Ooh. Ooh. Keep in mind, one exercise remains after this. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one, pulse is next. Five seconds out, so get ready. Right into pulses in three, two, and one. Here we go. Whew. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Whew. No more band, we're done with the band. If you have a second, you can even take off your ankle weights. We are going to do a frog glute bridge, which means our heel or our, the soles of our feet are gonna come together, knees are gonna drop out. I'm gonna use one dumbbell for this exercise. We're gonna do full range and then we're gonna do pulses. We've got three, two, and one. Here we go. Down. 
and squeeze. Now, with these frog pump glute bridges, try to keep that tempo up. So down quick, right back up, squeeze and hold, and then down. So keep a smooth tempo, but keep it quick. Get that contraction, and then down. Whew. Now you can only imagine these pulse pumps. The burn is gonna be real. Almost there. Ooh, Here's three, two, one. Hold it down. We're gonna pulse it out 30 seconds and you have made it. So let's bring it up. 30 on the clock. Let's pulse. Good. Think about driving the soles of your feet together here. Push your feet together. Driving those hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze, squeeze. Whew. Nice. Almost there. Keep it up. Come on, don't let those hips drop. You have almost made it. Under 10 seconds. Keep pushing, keep pulsing. Here we are, three, two, and one. Oh, amazing. You are the bomb. Do not forget, if you were working to build that stronger bomb, add this one, two times a week to your regular training, and before you know it, boom, you're gonna feel awesome. You. I can't even talk because I'm so excited. You are gonna be feeling awesome. Now, grab a stretch. You're gonna need that. You are going to be so glad you took that stretch. I will see you over there and have an awesome day. Thanks for working out with me. I love you.